Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Your old buddy Tim back with another video. And in this video, we are going to look at the average sale price of a home in Madison City. And then we're going to look at what can you get in that average sale price. Now, uh, as you probably know, prices are starting to fluctuate a little bit here. Uh, the market is slowing down a little bit thanks to interest rates, the time of the year, that sort of thing. And uh, it's always good to take a look at what you can get uh, for the average price. Now, the average price in Madison City is actually pretty hefty. The average sale price of an existing home in Madison City. We're not looking at new construction yet. We're going to look at existing homes. Uh, as you can see, the average sale price is $462,149. That is almost a 30% jump in the last 12 months, which is a significant increase. And you can see new construction in Madison, what there is, uh, is averaging out about four seventy-five. dollars So we're going to look at what can you get in Madison City within a range of say 440 to 480 with the middle being the average price. So uh, before we do that, do me a favor. If you like what we do here on the videos, uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, click the little bell notification icon, give us a like, and that way you'll never miss another video. And if you are thinking about relocating to Huntsville or North Alabama, or you're already here and you would like the assistance of the fastest growing little boutique brokerage in town, uh, that would be Revolved Realty. We've got 90 agents now ready to go to work for you. And I talked to someone literally every day that I meet through this YouTube channel, folks that are moving here for, uh, for work, for play, for retirement, for school, whatever the reason, talk to folks every day that find us via YouTube. And we try to bring you relevant content and not only uh, the housing situation here in North Alabama, but also living here as well. So, all right, so enough of that. Let's talk about Madison, Alabama, and what the average home price there is. So if you follow this channel, you'll know that Madison is really the uh, more popular suburb to Huntsville. Madison has a great school system, number one in the state, high marks all throughout the country. So schools are really uh, a big deal in the city of Madison. And because of that, a lot of families want to locate there. And that's one reason why we have seen uh, the the. I think it's an incredible jump in property values in the city of Madison just in the last 12 months because, uh, number one, low inventory. Madison uh, is literally landlocked. It doesn't have a whole lot of areas to grow. It's starting to uh, kind of branch out to the south and to the west and trying to build new homes and that sort of thing. But as you can see, when property values go up 30% in a year, uh, it's a hot market low inventory, high demand, and that's the situation we have there. So, so let's take a look at what can you get in Madison City for this price. So we're going to uh, call up my MLS here. And again, we are looking at active listings. These are existing homes. These are homes that are ready to move in. It's not uh, under construction. It is ready to go. And so active listings, we are looking at, uh, again, nothing that is under construction. We're going to look at things that are on the ground, ready to move into. And the average is about 460. So we're going to go a little bit to the side. We're going to go 440 on the low side, 480 on the high side. Now, let me say this. Uh, one of the reasons we look at uh, properties that actually are, are a little higher in price is because in this market, Prices are starting to temper. They're starting to come down and sellers are more open to offers now. So there may be a home on the market that's 470, 475, 480 uh, that will eventually end up selling in the 460s, which is going to be the average price. So, so looking at this, we can see that there are only 11 homes in the city of Madison that meet this criteria. The other thing to remember is this, not all homes with a Madison address or Madison schools. Um, there's a lot going on on the western side of Madison. They are starting to annex land there, uh, pulling those areas into the Madison schools, but some of them may not be Madison schools. So just keep that in mind. And we're going to look at, at those. So All right, so we've got 11 homes here that are in our 
average price range of 460, a little above and a little below. And let's just take a look at what we can get. All right, so those 11 homes, they're gonna range in price from, looks like 445 up to 479. The average, of course, is right in here. Now, one thing you're gonna notice, you see all the red ink? That means that the home price has been reduced at some point. For example, the first one we're gonna look at here is uh, 219 Dijon Road. I wonder if that's like Dijon Mustard, or is it Dijon Mustard? I forget. Uh, let's take a look, see what you get in this price range. So this one is listed at 445. It is 2,675 square feet, five bedrooms, three baths, good size property then. Uh, let's see, paint, LVP, and carpet have just been replaced. HVAC replaced a couple of years ago. Always good to know. It's had some uh, updates. Uh, water heater, 2004, last service, blah, blah, blah. Uh, roof in uh, 2004. Uh, so the house itself was built in 2004. So it is, what, 18 years old? All right. And so let's, uh, I want to see first the price reduction. So what I can do is go here under history. And let's see, the home went on the market in September for $450, uh, been on the market going on uh, a month, and it has been reduced to $445. So I mentioned when you see the red ink, the red, uh, it's not really ink, but it's red, uh, that means that the price has been lowered. We are not seeing uh, really significant price drops yet. And I don't think we ever will in this market, but we are seeing some price drops of a few thousand here and there. So, all right, let's just go back and take a look. So uh, this was, let me go back to the first one. Doo, 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 there we go. 219 Dijan Road, $445,000, 166 a square foot. Let's just take a, a quick look at what we're dealing with here. It looks like full brick. It is on a slab. Got a nice side entry garage, got a back patio, and it looks like it's got some, uh, some rise in the backyard because that is a retaining wall, but not very, uh, not very high. Some of these retaining walls get out of control, but this one looks like you've got some flat, let me go back and look. You got a flat patio area, and then you got a step up or two to the rest of the yard, which, which looks flat. Nice big yard. We'll have to see how big this uh, lot is. So coming in, we've got hardwood floors. Okay, I don't, uh, I don't think this one's been remodeled. I can still see the popcorn on the ceilings, but nice hardwood floors. The paint does not look bad. Carpet, master bath, two vanities there. And all right, here's the kitchen. Let's uh, take a look. And so this is what we call builder grade, okay? Builder grade simply means this was a home that was uh, done by one of the builders here, usually a big box builder. They use decent cabinets. Countertops are for mica, okay? You're not going to see granite in a, in a builder grade home like this, okay? But uh, nice kitchens. Got a bar there, open floor plan. There's your fireplace. Okay, good size room, door going out to the patio, cathedral ceilings. I always like a high ceiling because it just makes the room look bigger. So it does have a bar. Okay, so really a, a nice basic house. Here's the, the master. It does have split uh, vanities, got a corner tub, stand-up shower. So nice house. That's $445,000. That's $166 a square foot. All right, and it is in Bob or in uh, Madison Schools. It is James Clemens High School, Liberty Middle. Those are Madison Schools, right? Next up, let's see. We've got Four Stowe Court. This is in Greenbrier Hills. Uh, again, this is Madison School District. This is out on County Line, which is the uh, the western side of the city. They're asking four forty seven nine one fifty seven a square foot. Let's see. We've got twenty eight thirty seven square feet, four bedrooms. Three baths, the home, uh, not that old, 2019. All right, does have an HOA. A lot of folks don't like HOAs. You know, I, I don't have a problem with the HOA unless it's run by what I call HOA Nazis, people who get on the board just to have it their way. Uh, but a lot of HOAs, HOAs are meant to restrict uh, bad things that may go on in the neighborhood. For example, like in my neighborhood, the HOA says you cannot park on the street. I love that. 
because my old neighborhood, people parked on the street and it was literally like serpentining a war zone. So HOAs can be a good thing. Don't always get a negative connotation of HOA because they can prevent your neighbor from letting his place grow up and, you know, get out of hand. So, all right, let's take a look. We've got, uh, what do we say, 2,800 square feet. It's a 4-3, so a good size home. Uh, four bedroom, three bath home, Greenbrier Hills. Uh, again, this is out toward County Line. Let's just take a look. Great curb appeal. I really like that. Although the yard does kind of go down on the sides there, but that's okay. Uh, really pretty house. I really like this. It's great the uh, the dark garage door. I like that they've painted it accent colors. I like that. Nice front porch. Good landscaping. Pressure wash the driveway, folks, before you list it. All right, so here we go inside. Uh, again, the home is only a few years old, so it's really good shape, I would think. Uh, you walk in, hardwood floors, stairs going up. Typically, the, uh, the office or the dining room is usually to the right. So here you come in the foyer. So yeah, this would be, uh, they're using it, it looks like an office, but it could also be a dining room, but nice, nice good space. I really like these floors. Agreeable gray walls, of course. Again, declutter. Get rid of that damn table. <laughs> I'm sorry. Open floor plan. So this is good. You've got the living room area here. Probably dining is going to be right here in the middle. That's what that is. And then the kitchen. All right. So when you come in the door, you've got living room, dining room, kitchen. And let's check out the finishes here. Yeah. Nice dining area. Okay. I like the kitchen. And again, this is builder grade, but this is a little higher end builder because if you look at this, you've got granite countertops here. It's not for mica. Uh, cabinets are, they're builder grade cabinets, but they're nice cabinets. Then it's got stainless steel appliances, going to be your pantry right there. So good open floor plan. I mean, you can literally stand in the kitchen and see everything that's going on there in the house. Uh, let's see, there is the uh, entrance from the garage. I always like this little cubby here. Sit down, pull off your shoes. All right, so here is a bedroom. Looks like they're using it as an office. That's all right. Okay, this is the bonus at the top of the stairs. So if you come up the stairs, this whole area here is what we call bonus area. Most people use it for like a TV room or a playroom, something like that. And then you're going to have bedrooms uh, all around. Okay, so good size. I would expect this is probably the master. Okay, king size bed in there. So it'll show you how big the the room is. Here's the master bath. You got split vanities, tile floor, nice glass walk-in shower. I wish you had shown me that bathroom from a different angle, but okay, whatever. All right, so here's another bedroom with a bathroom. Another bedroom, another bedroom, another bedroom. Okay, let's look at the back. So we've got a, a nice covered patio, concrete pad, good flat backyard, privacy fenced in. All right, so good size lot. I like a big lot. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 0.2 acres, so... All right, so that is uh, Four Stowe Court, 447.9. Also, if you would like this list or an updated list whenever you, depends on when you see the video, uh, if you would like an updated list, just drop it in the comments below. I'd be happy to uh, email you a list. So, all right, here's another nice house, 454000 This is 469 Highland Drive. This is Heart of Madison, uh, Bob Jones Schools. 2,600 square feet. It is a 4-3, built in 1995. It is an older area, but a really nice area. And how, homes there are really holding their value well. So uh, let's see. I think this is also one that had had a reduction. Let me look. And one of the reasons I want to know if a home has been reduced in price is, number one, it tells me the demand uh, for the house. Is the demand there? Um, how long it's been on the market? What have they had to drop it? And really, you can tell by the price drops how desperate they are to sell. Uh, for example, this one came on the market in August. So we've been on the, on the market quite a while. 469, it is now down to 454. Uh, this home is probably going to sell maybe in the 440s, high 440s maybe. 
I don't think they're going to drop it a whole lot less because that's already a really good price. But all right, so let's take a look at the inside of this. I love it. Big brick, nice landscaping around, good curb appeal. All right, uh, open it up. You got the foyer, agreeable gray walls. Everybody uses that, an agreeable gray. Uh, so you got hardwoods. Uh, looks like you got nine foot ceilings here, which is nice. All right, so coming in. There is a dining area. I like the tall windows. Let's in a lot of good light. Mm -hmm. a bedroom, bedroom, bathroom. All right, so here is the staircase going up. Kitchen is back there. Dining room is there. Okay, got a nice fireplace. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Openish. All right, so this looks uh, a little higher end. These are, I think these are probably cherry cabinets. Got the granite countertops. You got the stainless steel appliances. Again, uh, a lot of this house has nine foot ceilings, got the crown molding. And uh, you know my, my theory, if the crown molding's nice, the, uh, the builder is better. <laughs> so, all right, so here's looking from the other side of the kitchen. So nice floor plan, does have gas cooktop. You want, you want your cooktop to be gas and your oven to be electric. I'm told that that's uh, the best way to go there. So, all right, nice, nice. Let's move on. Pantry, laundry, got a mud sink, which is a nice uh, feature. All right, there's the front. Okay, we're upstairs now. Looks like a nice big bonus room. This would probably, is this the master bath? I'm only seeing, I guess it's two sinks there. There's a shower. Nice big area there. Okay, this would be the master, I would think. Okay. I'm trying to get to the outside. I'm not seeing, there we go. Uh, so it has a deck that's in really ratty shape. <laughs> you might want to might want to do some work on that deck there, but uh, let's see. It's got a good, decent backyard, privacy fence. So you know the front looks great. Good curb appeal. There is that. So all right. So that is 469 Highland Drive. Again, it is 2,600 square feet. 454 is the price. So we're gonna kind of speed through these. All right. This is a, a good one. Nathan Hale. 216 Nathan Hale Drive, 454, 9, 2,800 square feet. Again, 43. This one was built uh, at least 21 to 25 years ago. So let's take a look. Looking for a home in Madison, perfect location. This is Madison Schools. Features high vaulted ceilings, yada, 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 yada. All right, good curb appeal. Like the outside, looks good. Got a nice big yard. Side entry driveway. All right, so now we're seeing a little bit of uh, dating because you don't see this uh, these colors used nowadays. But uh, hardwood floors, got the crown molding, got some chair rail going. Uh, not grooving on the color. This is a house you're probably going to paint. All right, so family room. Again, de declutter. My goodness, there's just too much stuff. Uh, anyway, nice tall ceiling, good light, fireplace there. You're going to have your dining room over there, over there. Okay, and this is looking uh, from the other end. This is the foyer where you come in, you know, dining room, kitchen area is probably here. Staircase goes up. Got that little balcony there, which is kind of nice. Does have carpet in the living room. Got a fireplace. All right, kitchen is, is bright, nice and bright. So uh, let's open this up a little bit. All right, so we do have uh, painted cabinets. We've got granite countertops, hardwood floors. Um, a lot of people don't white, like white painted cabinets. I do. I think they look clean, although I do prefer a little bit of color. Okay, close that. But a good space. But again, this house is just uh, just dated. This is an older stove, older uh, microwave. So typically, I mean, the, the home is move-in ready. And a lot of people will buy this house and move into it. But a lot of folks, they get so hung up on uh, updates. You know, well, how, how old is that stove? How old is that 
dishwasher, you know. Uh, what color is that paint? <laughs> And that's the biggest thing in this house you're going to notice is the paint. All right. But it looks like good space. Here's the master. Got a nice tray ceiling, which I like. Plenty of room in there. Let's take a look at the master bath. Okay. Got a little room there. So split vanities. Got the corner tub. Do you use a tub? You know, we uh, would not tub people in the house that we bought um, a year ago and remodeled. We actually just removed the tub completely just got it out of there and just use it as floor space but a lot of people do love a tub All right, kind of a, a insert shower so that's not real high end but but a nice house nonetheless and again it is in madison city madison school district so that is a big plus all right Let's see how long it's been on the market yeah 10 days so not not terrible uh next 533 West River Landing Boulevard. Okay, this is a Madison address, but it's not Madison Schools. This is uh, down Zert Road, which is going south of the city. And some of the neighborhoods there are Bob or, uh, Madison Schools, but a lot of them are Huntsville. So it really just depends. But this is uh, Huntsville City Schools uh, with a Madison address. But anyway, uh, it's 455,900, 2,300 square feet. That is uh, 195 a square foot. It is uh, basically a new house. It's less than uh, probably a year old. Uh, let's see, less than a year. Added over $20,000 in improvements. Uh, the established yard is fenced. Does have a storm shelter, which is nice. A lot of folks, um, one of the big questions a lot of folks ask me is how are the tornadoes there? We do have tornadoes. It's rare that we get an outbreak that causes a lot of devastation, but they do happen. So a lot of folks love the storm shelter and bad weather comes, you get in the storm shelter and uh, you ride it out. So, all right, let's look at some, uh, some pictures. Okay, kind of a dark, dark brick. Some people like this. I'm not real keen on brown houses, but what do I know? Grass is green, the sky is blue. It's all that, all that matters. All right, does have a, a nice front porch. It's more of a craftsman style. Mm -hmm. Come on. Side entry garage. Does have three car garage, which a lot of people love. All right. So the house is only about a year old. So, you know, you're going to see a lot of the more recent design aesthetics. Okay. For example, the, uh, the LVP, the hardwood there, paints, got a nice fireplace. I assume that's the front door. You come into the foyer and you come right into the living room. Okay, good open space though. Here's your kitchen right there. All right, I do like the fireplace. Okay, uh, all right, look, I don't give a crap about the fucking clubhouse. <laughs> Why do you do that to me? Uh, sorry. All right, so looking at the kitchen, nice kitchen. It's got uh, painted cabinets. Again, these are white. Got the shaker cabinets. Does have a, looks like a granite countertop. And uh, that's nice. Got the oven microwave combo there. Sounds like a cargo plane is coming inside. All right, view from the other side. I like the uh, I like the island. I like an island with seating. All right, so that's nice. Got stainless steel appliances. That is a gas cooktop. All right, here is the garage for those of you who give a crap. That was the storm shelter. And a lot of folks think that storm shelters have to be underground. Uh, they don't. What they do, these storm shelters are made, of, uh, are made of steel and they bolt down to the concrete floor. And the house could go away and this would not leave the foundation. So other than being under, uh, underground, a lot of them do them under the floor in the garage. This one is above. Now it does take up some space in your garage. So... Take that into consideration. So, all right, we've seen all this. Are you going to show me the bedrooms? Are you going to show me the bathroom? Uh, laundry. All right, I'm not even going to pursue. Don't get me started on ordering photographs <laughs> by, by, by how you go into the house. It just irks me. So, all right, so that one is uh, four fifty five nine. We've got uh, five more. We're going to kind of hurry through here. All right, here is one. It is in uh, Madison Schools. It is 2,981 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths. 
built in 2010, and we've been on the market 44 days. So at this point, this seller might be open to offers. So let's take a look at the history here. Do, 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 do. So it came on the market in September for 510. We are now down to 465. So that is what, $35,000, $45,000 in in price reduction, which can make a huge difference. Um, And here's the thing. Just because they've lowered the price does not mean that the the actual property values are lower if an appraisal was done because this home may still appraise at 510. Uh, You're just able to get it for a much lower price. So you just never know. But this is a great location, again, out on County Line Road, Whitworth Farms, uh, nice brick home, good curb appeal. All right. All right. So you're coming in the front door. You've got the agreeable gray paint. You've got uh, the hardwood floor. You've got a column. Typically, you, you see these in some homes. Um, rather than just putting in walls, they'll just put in these columns for support. So you come in, you've got a foyer here, dining room here. This is going to be an office. All right, there is the probably the dining room right there. And it is open. You, you literally come into the dining room, but that's just the design a, a lot of homes have now. All right, so here is the family room. Again, the good old agreeable gray paint, which I am so tired of. And, uh, you know, I don't really care for these floors. These are wide plank. You know, it's just a matter of taste. Don't listen to me. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's get to the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. It does have a little breakfast nook there. And let's take a look at the kitchen. All right. So it's a nice kitchen. You've got the painted cabinets. You've got a little bar area here. Double sinks, which is really nice. Gas cooktop, which is nice. All right. I like it. I like it. I don't know about the backsplash, but again, sometimes I'm just too critical. All right, so it looks like a bedroom, maybe. Yeah, there is uh, the vanities. Let's see. And this is more builder grade here. You know, the kitchen did have granite, but this has formica. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, not everybody is married to granite, and granite's really expensive, so... If that's something that bothers you, you can always take care of that yourself in the future. So, got a uh, soaker tub, whirlpool tub, got a little shower there. Yeah, and I was talking about what we did when we remodeled my master bath. We literally took out the tub and expanded that shower way out. Uh, Our shower probably comes out to about here. And so we just took up a lot of the space that was the tub and created this giant uh, walk-in tile shower that you can wash a Volkswagen in. So, all right. So master there again, more paint, more agreeable gray. This is a bonus room. Looks like it does have its own split unit for air conditioning there. Okay. Uh, this is nice. Got a pergola out back and got a little deck there. I've never really gotten pergolas because they really don't shield you much from the elements, if at all. But uh, from a decorative standpoint, and then you got a little deck here. That's kind of nice. Good size yard, privacy fence, et cetera, et cetera. So not bad at all. That is uh, 104 Carlton Woods, 465. All right. And here we are. This is Abington Boulevard. This is Huntsville Schools, not Madison, uh, 4699, 2,500, 25 square feet. It is a 3-3. Uh, built in 2020, uh, floor plan and restrictive covenants, blah, blah, blah. All right. So it's only a couple of years old. We'll go through it really quick. Uh, I do like the, the curb appeal of this. I like the covered entry here. All right. So when you come in, it's got a little foyer. Got the, These are those wide planks again. I don't know who this builder is, but they use the same planks in every house. I uh, got your fireplace, got your open dining room. And this is wide open. There's the living room, dining room, kitchen, all in one ginormous space. So if you like an open floor plan, you're going to love this this kind of layout. And we do this a lot in our flips. We'll remove walls just to open it up. So 
All right, so there's the kitchen. Let's take a look at it. All right, so that's I think that's quartz as opposed to granite. And it does have a, an accent uh, island here, which is a different color from the main cabinet. So uh, you don't have a lot of counter space in this house and you don't really have a lot of cabinets. That's interesting. Okay, there's, there's a few more right there. So that's, that's good because you got your oven there. So, all right, all right so not bad. Got a gas cooktop. Okay. Mm -hmm. After a while, they all start looking alike. I got to be honest with you. So, all right, master bath. You got split uh, vanities here, or double vanities. Uh, okay, nice big shower. I like this. This is good. You get the glass doors. You just walk in. Got multiple shower heads. Okay, closet, washer, dryer, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, I don't care about every bathroom. Okay, so this is kind of nice. They've got like an outdoor area here with screens, got a fireplace, which is nice. Okay. I like the virtual staging they've done there. Mm -hmm. Like the backyard. I love trees if they're behind my property. I don't like them so much in the yard. So you got a decent yard there. I really like this screened in porch though. So. All right, so that is uh, 9518 Abington Cove 4699. Bear with me, guys. We're almost there. All right, 123 Mallard Cove Drive. Again, this is Huntsville City Schools. It is not Madison, even though it has a Madison address. Uh, five bedrooms, four baths, 3180 square feet. All right, we'll go through this one quickly. All right, decent curb appeal. Covered walkway. Here is the foyer. All right. uh, at least it's not agreeable gray. It's agreeable beige. <laughs> There's the it's got some uh, LVP flooring. It looks like, and again, open floor plan. Coming into the kitchen. Why are you showing me the bathroom? I want to see the kitchen. Oh my God. Okay, so apparently this is the master bath, which is more important than the other room that actually sell a house. Okay, so here is the kitchen, and seriously? <laughs> All right, so looks like Formica, builder grade cabinets. You got your stainless steel appliances, so that's all right. All right, so I'm not gonna fight with you. I'm gonna get out of this one. So that one is uh, 4699. And I only want to look at the ones in Madison School. So here's one, 245 Gwinnett. This is Madison School's Bob Jones. Again, down Zert Road, southern part of the city. And it is 3415 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths built in 2019. So uh, built in 2019, Bob Jones District, Extraordinary this home's full, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, so good curb appeal. It's got a uh, three-car garage. I do like the turret-shaped part there. All right. So going inside, agreeable gray and LVP. <laughs> it's the law. Every house here has to use agreeable gray and LVP. So, all right, so this one's laid out a little different. You come in the foyer there, and it looks like you have a sitting room right to the right. Okay, and this is the sitting room. So then the dining room is here. So you come in the foyer, sitting room, dining room. Nice. I do like the wainscoting. I like the, uh, the ceiling there. Little designer touches. Okay, so you come into that, and then you've got the main living room and the kitchen. And they are open to each other. All right, that's probably the hallway down there. So come through here, you've got a nice uh, den area with a giant damn couch in it. Here is the kitchen, open to the kitchen. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, so you do have, uh, looks like granite here and designer cabinets. These are not really painted, they're almost distressed, but you got a, gra a gas cooktop, double sink, 
double oven. Is that double oven or microwave? It's hard to tell. What the hell is that right there? I guess that's the microwave. So these are probably double ovens, which my wife will tell you are so handy, especially when you're uh, cooking for the holidays. So, all right. So here we got a uh, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, bathroom. More of the same. This is probably the bonus area at the top of the stairs right there. And then we've got, looks like the master here. Good size master. Looks like there's a sitting area right there. Okay. Can we see the bathroom, please? Master bath, double vanities. They, same kind of cabinets throughout, which is cool. Very good. Um, all right. Okay, it just it irks me when photos are not in the order they should be in. Okay, so they've got a covered patio and then the backyard. The covered patio is off to the side there. And then you've got, looks like a good sized backyard, privacy fenced. All right, so that is 245 Gwinnett, 470,000. All right, we've got two more. Hang in there. All right, this one is in a new area called the Village at Oakland Springs. This is a high dollar area. It is Bob Jones Schools, which is Madison. Uh, this is on the west side of Madison, and it is 2,264 square feet, four bedrooms, four baths, built in 2019. I actually did a video of, uh, of this property, and I can link it below if you like it, but really nice high-end house. This is... Uh, one of those walkable communities. The only thing I don't care for in these communities is that the houses are a little close together. You do not have side lots hardly at all, but this is a gorgeous home. I remember doing this video, very high end, designer all the way through, open floor plan, uh, real plank flooring, yep, 10 foot ceilings throughout. The kitchen was really nice. I'm surprised this one is still on the market. I really am because it was it was gorgeous, very HGTV. All right, and this is open up. There's the front door, living room, dining room, kitchen, open floor plan, nice laundry, mm -hmm. master bedrooms on the front side of the house. This is the master bath had a soaker tub, glass shower, double vanity with granite. And so this is a, uh, a higher end builder and they do these high end touches just as a matter of routine. So this is a very nice, nice home. Uh, again, the only downside is this, you do not have a lot of yard in one of these communities, but all right, finally on the last one, we've got 113 Goldfinch Drive, 479.9. Let's see if that has been reduced at all. Uh, came out at 479.9. Okay, so it has not been reduced. 2682 square feet. It is a 4.3. Uh, built in 2019, been on the market about a month. All right, so let's just take a look. Okay, so if you like brown, this is the home for you. <laughs> Pretty yard though, nice curb appeal, nice landscaping. Got the covered front porch. Here is the foyer. Come into a narrow foyer with the dark plank flooring and opens up into a cathedral ceiling here in the living room. There is the fireplace, the prerequisite TV above. All right, and this is open to the kitchen. Now this kitchen is a little different. It's got dark cabinets, uh, which I don't dislike. Just depends. These are the dark brown wood cabinets. You got the gas cooktop. Double sink, got the granite island, very nice. Mm -hmm. All right, kitchen, there's a little dining area there. Okay, and this is the uh, the view from the family room. What the fuck is, <laughs> pardon me, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, all right, looks like, uh, oh, it's got a pool, which is nice. Takes up most of the backyard, but you know, uh, if you like a pool, you don't want to cut grass. So that's kind of a nice, uh, a nice touch there. Looks like the master bedroom, tray ceiling, big walk-in closet. All right, the master bath, got your double vanities. Got a, this is, uh, they probably took this picture from inside the shower, that's funny. Soaker tub there, tile shower there. 
All right, upstairs, got a bonus area, another bathroom, et cetera, et cetera. So, all right, guys, well, there you go. So what can you get in Madison City for the average sale price of $462,149? Well, you just saw it. And so uh, if you would like more information on any of these homes or you would just like this list of homes, drop it in the comments below. I'm more than happy to send it over to you. And uh, we're going to do on the next video, we're going to look at City of Athens, uh, what the average price there is and what you can get for your money. So, hey, guys, don't forget, if you like what we do here on the channel, uh, click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Click the little bell. And that way you never miss another video. And don't forget. If you are moving to the area or you are already here and you need the assistance of the fastest growing independent brokerage in town, that is Revolved Realty. Got uh, 90 agents now ready to go to work for you. And as I said at the beginning, I, I'm contacted literally every day by someone who is moving here for school, for work, for retirement, to be near the grandkids, whatever the reason, uh, we are more than happy and well equipped to help you make that happen. So, all right, guys, I hope that was helpful. That's what you can get in Madison City for the average sale price of around 460. So, hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If I can do anything for you, don't hesitate to give me a call. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.